Hey folks, welcome to the Do It Yourself Dad channel. Today we are going to be casting these very cool pirate coins out of scrap copper. And we're getting that copper by recovering it from some old scrap electronics. We're gonna be pulling the copper off these coils. This also came out of the same unit and there's something really cool inside here we're gonna be playing with later. And we're gonna be melting down the copper in this metal melting furnace from Viver. Now I realized something the other day, we hit 100,000 subscribers a couple of weeks ago and I didn't really do anything on the channel to celebrate. So we're gonna do a little celebration giveaway so you're gonna to wanna to watch the end of the video to find out about how to enter because we're gonna be giving away some pretty cool stuff. Now I've played around with a couple of these things before but all the ones I've used in the past have been propane. This one is electric and electric makes things I think a little bit easier. You're not having to deal with propane tanks, running out of gas and you can actually do this inside your garage. You do still wanna make sure everything's ventilated because you are gonna get fumes off this thing depending on what you're putting into it. The nice thing is this thing pretty much comes with everything you need to get started. It comes with the furnace itself. This one came with two different size crucibles, protective gloves, and these are actually pretty good protective gloves, and a little grabber here to get the crucibles. If you wanna check out this whole kit, I will have a link for it down below, but there are a few things you are gonna to wanna to pick up aside from just this if you wanna do this on your own. You're gonna to wanna to get some fire brick here. You don't wanna use regular brick, you wanna use fire brick. It's not that expensive. I would pick it up locally. When you get it shipped to you, it tends to get cracked in shipment. And I have a small collection of eye protection, but I would definitely recommend wearing eye protection. Now, when you're warming up the kiln, you do wanna warm it up with the crucible in place. You don't wanna shock the crucible by putting it into a hot kiln. You wanna bring it up to temperature. So we're gonna put that in there, come down here and turn on the power. And then with this one, this is your temperature that you're going to. This is the temperature it's at. This all reads in Celsius. So we're gonna bring this thing up to copper melting temperature. And this furnace will actually heat up to uh, 1,150 degrees Celsius. We're gonna bring it up to 1,120. So once you get that set, we'll let it start heating up. So what's really cool about this is we're taking old electronics that were destined for the landfill and we're turning them into something cool by recycling them. We're not going down to our hardware store and just picking up a block of copper and melting it. Now, I do have another channel that we are just starting out, so please go check it out and subscribe to it. It is called DIY Metals, and we're doing exactly this. We're taking metals and turning them into something cool. We're also gonna be working with precious metals like silver and gold, doing extractions, talking about silver stacking, gold stacking and all that good stuff. So please go over and subscribe to that. I have it linked down below and it'll also be linked at the very end of this video. Now you may have noticed on this, this doesn't quite look coppery and that's because this has a little bit of a protective film or coating on it and you wanna get that off before you put it in your kiln. Technically you could throw this in the kiln but it will be a little bit smoky. So we're gonna take this stuff, we're gonna roll it up real good, hit it with a torch and burn that stuff off before it goes in the kiln. Now we're still waiting for our kiln to heat up, so I do wanna show you this thing. And this is one of those things I was just talking about that's gonna appear on the other channel. Um, this is a essentially a switch. You got little contactors right there. And these little contactors right there are capped with silver. So this is one of the projects we're gonna be doing over there is extracting silver from switches like this and actually melting them into silver bars. So it's pretty cool. It's not just copper that you can get out of these electronics, you can get all sorts of precious metals out of them as well. So we're getting close, about 850 degrees Celsius. So we're getting there. It takes about 20 minutes for this thing to get totally up to temperature. But if we look inside already, the crucible is starting to glow red hot at the bottom. It'll be red hot all the way to the top once we're totally up to temp. Now with the furnace up to temperature, crack this thing open, you can see it is glowing red hot. And because we're doing two ounce coins here, we're gonna add two ounces of copper. Now this is definitely my favorite point, cracking this thing open. I don't know how well you can see down in there, but when that metal turns to liquid and you see that shiny blob, it's such a cool thing to look at. So now that we've got everything up to temp, got on our gloves, come in here, remove the crucible. And then we're gonna quickly move it and pour it into our very cool pirate ingot mold. We wanna move it quickly because we wanna keep this copper hot. And you notice I have a map gas torch on the mold as well. You wanna make sure the molds are completely dry. You don't want any popping of moisture or anything like that. And it also helps the metal flow throughout the mold. Once we've got it poured, we can turn off the map gas torch and we're gonna quickly move it into the quench. The quicker we can get into the quench, typically the less oxidization we have on the coin. 
However, copper still tends to come out oxidized. So I have this little trick. I've got right here a vinegar and salt bath. You can see it's a little bit green from some other copper I've had in there. But you put it in there, wait about an hour, and it's taken all that off. If you actually heat up this solution, it works a whole lot faster as well. And you can see you're just sitting in that bath for a little bit. How that oxidization layer just comes right off. Look at that. So I mentioned at the beginning of the video that we hadn't done anything for 100,000 subscribers. And what we're going to do is we're going to be giving away some of these coins. Now to enter the drawing to get one of these coins, you need to leave a comment down below in the description. But we're not just giving away these copper coins. Oh no, we're going to be giving away some solid silver coins. We're going to be melting down some beautiful silver shot in this thing. And each coin is going to come out to about two troy ounces of silver. Now to enter in that one, like I mentioned, I have another channel going on that we just started. You want to go over to the other channel, subscribe to that channel and leave a comment on the video. It'll be linked down in the description below. That'll get you entered to get some solid silver coins. Now, it kills me that I even have to say this, but the last time we did one of these giveaways, we got slammed with spammers and scammers in the comment section. So you are gonna find out that you won. After this video has been up for one month, I'm going to pick winners for the coins, and I'm going to respond back with an email address to email. I will ask you for your shipping information. That is it. You will not be charged anything for shipping. That's how these scammers are trying to get you. So make sure it says do-it-yourself dad, and it is me that is leaving you a comment and not somebody else. Now, one thing I cannot stress enough with this thing is safety. This thing gets extremely hot. Wear your PPEs, wear your thick leather gloves, wear your eye protection. I like to wear a full face mask, not just eye protection, because I want to protect my eyes, but I want to protect all this too. Now, I want to show you something. I've had this thing shut down now for about a half hour. When I crack it open, it is still red hot. This thing takes hours to cool down. So keep that in mind when you're using it. I want to show you something. So I want to give you an idea what I'm talking about. These are those tongs that you use to grab the crucible with. So you're going to grab the crucible, dunk it, and then you're going to put the crucible back in. So you're probably in contact with the crucible for about 30 seconds. Then I take what my little ingot and I put it in the water bath. And let me show you what it did after I got this out of the water bath. I touched it for just a second to my pants and it melted a hole right through my pants. So please, please, please be safe with one of these if you're using it. Also, if you're going to be melting metals, please do it in a well-ventilated area. I'm in my garage right now, but I have my garage door open, and I also have a vent fan running in the ceiling that pulls the air out of here to keep this thing well-ventilated. Because if you're putting metals in there, if you're doing anything with lead, that's an issue. Or if you're doing anything with a coating and you're burning off the coating, that can also be an issue as far as fumes go. So please be safe. Now look at how well that coin turned out. We are having a lot of fun with this furnace and we're going to be making a lot more cool stuff in that over on the other channel. Now if this is a hobby that you want to get into, I will have a link for this down in the description. This is probably the easiest way to get into the metal melting metal pouring hobby is with something like this and with scrap metal. This thing can do silver, copper, gold, and a lot of other low temperature metals. So I do have links for this thing down below if you want to check it out for yourself. Leave me a comment. Let me know if you've got one of these or you want to get one of these, what you're planning on doing with it. Give me a great big thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, and of course, thanks for watching.